Sedan FS machine with the X space bending beam to create a variable pitch drip edge. To start your program, select the custom programming, choose your material table. In my case, I'm using my default 24 gauge table and we'll begin creating the program. We'll start by going down at a 45 degree angle so we can do our hem. Choose the direction of our hem. Choose the type of hem that we want. In my case, it's a closed hem. Now we're gonna come back up the pro profile, a half inch to make the kick. We'll go up two inches so that we can make the face. And now we're gonna run down and make the overhang. We're gonna come down. In this case here, it's 135 degrees for a high pitch roof. I'm gonna run that an inch and a half down. Now we have to hem it back over to make the nailing strip. And we're gonna make the nailing strip 3.5 inches. So we have a half inch of overhang and a two inch nailing strip. You can make that longer if you choose. Now we finish creating the profile. We will go to the run screen, all right? And we'll review the profile. On the very first bend, it has the hem with the short end of the hem facing out of the machine. I'm gonna run mine with the hem inside the machines because it creates less flipping in the part as I run the part. So we're gonna start the program and we're gonna run. So run the half inch hem. In. So now because I ran that hem inside the machine, I can simply roll the part in instead of having to flip it over. Now we've been the 45 degree kick and we can push the part straight out. Right. Now we flip the part over to run the hem. And as you can see with our X space beam, we have plenty of clearance to run that face at 135 degrees for a high pitch roof. Okay. Now we're gonna bend it over. We'll flip it and we will come down and we'll press our hem. And now we have a very high pitched roof drip edge. As I said earlier in the video, this program can be set up to run variable pitch. So now if my roof pitch changes, I can go back to the program and only make one change and create a different drip edge with the same program. So let's now I want to make this drip edge at a different roof pitch. We stop the program. We go back to the graphic of the program. We come to the line in the program where we created the pitch for the roof, and I'm gonna make that even sharper, 146, which is the max angle of this tool. So this 146 degrees will be for an 812 pitch roof. Again, we're running the half inch hem in. This is going to be a full 146 degrees for my roof pitch. And now I flip it over. As you can see, I can still, it's a small touch, but it's not so much that I can't push against the back gauges. And now I pre-bend. Now I have a roof, a drip edge for a 812 pitch. So let's make the comparison. This one ran 
on, on the right hand side, it ran at 135 degrees. This one is at 146. You can see the difference in the roof pitch.